we're now going to talk about um, the death of Joe Cox and um, Joe's sister, Kim Ledbetter, joins us this morning. Um, it must be quite difficult for you to uh, hear that interview as well. Yeah, it's not easy as someone who's been on the, the, the worst possible receiving end of, of, of gun crime. Yeah. yeah, it's very difficult to see how having more guns would be good for anybody. Do no. you think anything he said, did it, anything he said resonate with you at all? Um, no, not really. No. Mm. <laughs> I, think, I think, you know, bringing more guns into an already very, very violent situation is, is not the answer, is it? Well, from today, to um, you, Kim, you become the, uh, the director of the Joe Cox Foundation. Mm -hmm. um, this is because, of course, the previous one had to step down because of uh, some unfortunate doings. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to be a director. I'm going to be an ambassador. Okay. So I'm going to be an ambassador for Joe's Foundation, yeah, and I'm going to make sure that all the good work that has been started um, through the foundation is continued and, and, and ensure that the, that the family has got heavily involved. What did, in we have to cover this. What did you think when you, you first heard the news about uh, Joe's widower um, being accused of these uh, sexual indiscretions and having to admit them, really, basically, and, and resign. Yeah, it was a, a, another very tough week, um, of which we've I had many. Was, yeah. yeah, and it's very, very upsetting. But, of course, he's the father to your sister's yeah, absolutely. children. And it, but, 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 to be honest, in some respects, it's very clear for me. Do I condone inappropriate behaviour? Absolutely not. Will I support Brendan as the father of, of two children who have had their mother murdered? Of course I will. Mm. Uh, and I... And, and I I think it would be difficult to criticise me for doing so. Um, but then the rest of my time now and the rest of my energy is about focusing on how we move the foundation forward yeah. uh, and all the, the fantastic work that's been started, whether it's looking at the issue of loneliness, which I know you, you guys did a, a brilliant amount of work on last year, yeah. or looking at you know, the stuff that's been done through the Department of International Development, how we can consolidate and all that work and have another brilliant, great get-together where we bring people together. And that's where my passion is, is going to so be. So if you were sitting next to somebody on a train and, and it became clear what you do now do, how would you encapsulate mm -hmm what the foundation does. I mean, you've given a few examples, but how would you, how would you summarise it, just so people can understand what it's for? Yeah, yeah. So, so the foundation has been a lot of work in, in several key areas. The two main ones that I've been involved with have been looking at the, the work on international development, and, and it was brilliant that a couple of weeks ago the Department of International Development announced £10 million worth of grants, Joe Cox Memorial Grants, which is going to be given to organisations who want to do work overseas, focusing on the social, political and economic empowerment of women, uh, and looking at areas where there is potential conflict and how we can try and, try and um, step in before that happens. The other massive issue has been loneliness, which is something that I feel really passionately about. Um, so looking at how we can tackle the, the epidemic of loneliness, which, which resulted in the appointment of the, the Minister for Loneliness, Tracy Crouch, um, uh, earlier this year. Can you, I, and, uh, when, when she was appointed the Minister for Loneliness, I think a number of people scratched their heads and, and thought, how can the government fix what is essentially a personal problem mm. what, yeah I what? think yeah I think on loneliness it, it, it's got to come from us all there's got to be a top-down approach and there's got to be a bottom-up approach so it's brilliant that the government is, 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 is looking at this issue and hopefully there'll be some policy changes that will follow but I think I said at the time this is all our responsibility we've all got a responsibility to reach out to people in our communities and our societies and try and tackle loneliness on, on a completely personal level is is working with the foundation and being an ambassador and all the rest of it is, is that a, a useful way of processing the grief which you must still obviously be, be feeling quite keenly it's not that long since Joe yeah. Shop. I haven't processed. No. I haven't processed the grief at all, Richard. It so it's 20 months. 20 months, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which probably feels a really long time for some people, but for, for our family, it, it doesn't well, feel not very when, long. Well, not all. when she died in such a shocking Yeah, yeah. Kind of There's so way. much that I haven't dealt with, and I know that, and you're absolutely right. For me, keeping busy. All she wanted to do was, was, was spread positivity and, and, and do something good with her life. Mm. Yeah. And none of that's changed. And that's what, that's what my message today is. None of that's changed. Uh, and, and I want to honour Jo and I want to make sure that Jo's legacy is strong. And the support that we've had since Jo was killed. Yeah. You know, that's so strong. I bet she'd be dead proud of you. I, she'd be laughing her socks off, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> she really would, because this is not my world. What's she doing on Good Morning Britain? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what she'd be doing. You've met Richard Maidley. <laughs> Oh, God bless her. Well, lovely to see you. And Thank good you luck. so much. Thank good you very much indeed. Yeah. Thank you. And it is fantastic positive work. It is. Thank and, you. Uh, and we need a lot of that. We do. There's a lot of negative. I know. Yeah. Exactly right. Yeah. Kim Lebetter, well, thank you very much.